I used thick chipboard to cut out a tag and then I wrapped it with some saran wrap and made sure I sealed it real good and then I glued it down to the tin so that I could pour my mold. You want to make sure that your item is securely attached to the dish that you're going to pour your molding product into. So here I'm just mixing up my amazing mold rubber and, it, and it's two ounces um, of mold rubber to one scoop of the pink liquid. And then I mixed it up really good and I'm pouring it in here and I'm making sure that it gets moved around. And I can still see the tag just a little bit so I want to mix up some more and I will pour that in there and then we'll let it cure. Okay, so here it's cured and I'm just taking the tag out of the mold and I'm just going to cut away a little bit of um, what's hanging over. So here I'm just uh, mixing up my clear cast and I am putting my whole tag together. I've used dress it up buttons which I just clipped off the, the shank on the back of them. I've made some of my own resin pieces and basically the tags just have little scenes on them. You will see some of the tags have stickers in them also. Um, I don't think I have footage of every single tag I did, but I will try to explain each tag at the end of the video. Here I'm just adding the aluminum light dye to make it look like snow inside the clear cast. I'm sorry that I'm kind of off camera here, but that's kind of the bottom of the tag where the tree and the snowman are. So I'm just trying to make it look like there's snow on the bottom of that. So here, as you can see, I've done up most of my tags. I did four of them, and right there I'm just using a Sharpie marker, and I'm going around the edges of them just to give them a little def definition around the edge. Um, and I'm adding some fibers to the top, you know, the, the, the strings that you add to the tags. There's one sitting in the mold right now, just curing, waiting to be taken out.
Okay, so you've seen the process of how I created these tags, and um, I left off in this one. And this is basically, um, I'll go through real quickly what I did to finish this one off. Um, so on the video I was kind of filling in my little buttons that I used, and then I added some some glitter, and I um, what I did was I took the, um, on the video you'll see that I, or you saw that I was using the dye, the white Illumilite dye, to um, do some like round, kind of looking like a different kind of snowflake, because not every snowflake is the same. So that's what I did there, and of course, like I said, these were those like dress it up buttons that you can get. This candy cane is actually a sticker. It's a foam sticker, so I used um, glossy accents to stick that on there. Um, and then these are stickers also. So, and I put some stickers there, and then this is a cutout from a piece of scrapbook paper that I had. And I used some glossy accents to over the top, and that's what I glued it onto the to the tag with. I just think these came out so cute and let me get let me get a piece of paper to put behind them so that I'm going to try to find one that's not too busy. I have some Christmas paper here. Well, just quickly I'll just put this like this. I just think it looks really really cool even with paper behind it if you're going to put it on a um, on a present. And then I just got some different fibers, lace, you know, um, eyelash trim. I got baker's twine here and some ribbon. And that's what my little tassels are on this one. So there's that one. And then there's this one. I just, I just adore this one. This one is just so cute. And here I did the same thing, but I used stickers on this one. And I kind of did it in a layering effect. Um, I poured my my clear cast and then I laid on um, like for this one I did her this is supposed to be the mommy so let me drop this down a little so I laid her on and I put the snowflakes on and I sprinkled some this is like iridescent flakes I don't know if that's showing up in the there it goes but that's iridescent flakes, and they're not very thick, you know. You can make them as thick as you want, I guess. And then I let that set all night long, and then when I came back in the next day, I laid him on here, and it's just a sticker, and I put the tree on here. So if you feel it, it you can feel, like, the tree. I did put a little bit of um, clear cast over it, but not much, and you can feel the tree. Um, it's kind of really cool and you can feel him too because these are glittery stickers so I can kind of feel the little glitter in them and um, and then I did the same thing with the Luminlight dye with the white but this time I mixed the white dye in with the um, in with it in with the clear cast before I poured it so I got a brighter white here where this one I kind of mixed it in and then I poured more over it after it had hardened. And I love the looks of both of them. I think they both came out really, really, really neat. Um, I think this is more realistic of snow. I mean, I know snow is very, very white, but I think this kind of, to me, is a more realistic. It's almost like a blizzard in there. But anyways, so, and then when it was all finished, I did the, um, the pen, the... Um, permanent marker, the Sharpie, all the way around just to give it some contrast because see like this one doesn't have it and this one you know it kind of gives it like that's a tag and then I had these mitten stickers and I thought oh well, it would be so cute you know he lost one of his mittens and mommy found it so that's what I did I stuck the mittens one in her hand and one in his hand so that's that one and then my penguin one. I love my penguin one. I think they're so cute. And these are stickers again. And I didn't really make this very thick. It's not really, really, really that thick. Um, so when I did this 3D also, 
I did, um, I layered some penguins first and then I layered some more and I snuck one behind and um, I didn't do any glitter. I kept this very clear because um, I just wanted one that didn't have anything in the background. And then I did the same thing with Sharpie marker all the way around and I stuck a, a reef um, sticker around the hole and the hole I drilled with a drill and it went through just like that. It was really, really, really simple. And then of course some fibers up here. And then my last one is actually on a bag already. I attached it already to a gift that I'm giving. And um, it's a little Santa's workshop. And what this is, is this is a puffy sticker. So, you know, those stickers that are puffy. And um, so I, I wanted to try that to see if it would work. And it actually did. I did a couple layers of the clear cast. You know, I let one sit and I put the sticker on and then I poured more over it. So there's not really, the only thing that, like, is there's texture to is this kind of comes up out of the, um, the resin, which I think is really, really cool. Um, these are the puffy snowflakes, but they don't, um... They don't stick up out of here. And I did sprinkle some snow, um, not some snow, I didn't really sprinkle snow in here. Some glitter in here, and it was just a, a white glitter, and I sprinkled it in there. And then this is a puffy candy cane that I stuck on the outside, and I glued it to the outside. And again, I went around it with a Sharpie gold marker. And I also put these um, fibers on it for my tassels. So I'm just, I just think they came out awesome, and the other three are going on packages for Christmas. And then, you know, I was thinking was, you know, after you do them and you give them as, as you know, a tag on a package, I mean, you can stamp with stays on on this, and it'll stay. So I thought on the back I would do the to and from. But you can also um, hang it on your Christmas tree when, you know, when you take it off the package, it would it would make a cute little ornament on your tree. And especially with the lights behind it, I think that would be really, really cool. So anyways, um, that's my design team project for uh, amazing casting products. And I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks everybody for watching.